Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Rory Feek has found love again after the death of Joey Feek. The 59-year-old country music singer and songwriter revealed that he wed his partner and daughter's schoolteacher, Rebecca, on Sunday, July 14, eight years after the passing of his second wife and singing partner, Joey. The pair shared daughter Indiana, now 10. Rory also shares daughters Heidi, 38, and Hopi, 36, with ex-wife Tamara Gilmer. In a July 18 blog post, Feek shared details of the intimate ceremony held under a beautiful timber frame pavilion in Greycliff, Montana. The event was attended by his and Joey's 10-year-old daughter Indiana, along with several close friends and family members. In addition to the nuptials, he surprised his guests and bride with a special song he wrote and performed titled I Do. I sang at a wedding this past weekend. The only thing was, the bride had no idea. Neither did most of the family and friends who came he shared. So it was a big surprise for just about everyone there. Except me, Feek released a music video for the song, offering a glimpse into the couple's intimate wedding ceremony. The video features the bride arriving in a stunning long-sleeved lace gown, her hair elegantly styled in an updo with a floor-length veil flowing behind her. She joins Feek, who is dressed in a red velvet vest over a white shirt and beige slacks, at the altar where he surprises her with a special song. Reflecting on the song's inspiration, Feek said, I found myself thinking about how blessed I was to be given the opportunity to love again. To not only feel loved, but to have the chance to give love once more. To be the person who gets to spend my life making Rebecca happy. While the musical performance was a highlight, Feek noted that the most memorable moment was when Indiana welcomed Rebecca into their family. I think by far my and her favorite moment of the wedding was this one, when Indiana was given the gift of having a mama in her life again. And Rebecca was given the gift of being a mother. And we became a family, he wrote. Feek also looked back on his and Rebecca's love story and their journey toward commitment sharing that they decided to commit to each other in the spring. Although we knew marriage was a possibility, it wasn't something that either of us felt like we could seriously talk about. Mostly because up until that time Indiana only saw Rebecca as Miss Rebecca, her schoolteacher and our friend, he explained. And although she had become much more than that to me, I was very careful to let Indy figure it out on her own. And honestly, I wasn't really sure if she ever could or would at all. The pivotal moment came one morning in March when Indiana made a heartfelt request. Rebecca said, Rory, Indiana just asked me something that I think you need to hear. I asked Indy, and she told me that she said, Ms. Rebecca, I think you should marry Papa, Feek wrote. Indiana's input came after the eight-year anniversary of her mother's death. Joey died at age 40 on March 4, 2016, after battling stage for cervical cancer. My wife's greatest dream came true today. She is in heaven. The cancer is gone, the pain has ceased and all her tears are dry, Rory announced via his blog at the time. Joey is in the arms of her beloved brother Justin and using her pretty voice to sing for her savior. At 2.30 this afternoon, as we were gathered around her, holding hands and praying, my precious bride breathed her last. And a moment later took her first breath on the other side.